It's been a couple weeks since I touched the Airstream project. In this video, I decided to scrap the idea of using epoxy to seal the subfloor. I'll explain that all. But uh, got the subfloor sealed, started screwing it down, and started marking out the uh, floor plan for the whole project. So the reason I stopped using epoxy for the Airstream was because I couldn't tell where the uh, subfloor was sealed. By the time I put the epoxy on there, it dried. And uh, in areas where I had it sealed, it kind of just dried up and didn't seem to seal anymore. So I knew I used this new product called RedGuard. And starts off when it's wet, it's uh, pink. By the time it dries, it's all red. And so I did two coats on the top and bottom and uh, four coats total on all the edges so I know everything's sealed didn't seal the whole um, plywood piece originally I was going to do that but I'm not doing that anymore because uh, if any water does get in there for any reason or if any moisture is in there I don't want to trap it in there so screw down the subfloor bringing it back in and started marking out the uh, floor plan here I'm going with the uh, very similar floor plan if not the exact same of uh, what the original Airstream was so you guys get to see what that's like and uh, that's all I have for you guys today thanks for watching